Hi, this is Sam Basu, Master and Professor in College of Technology. Today I am going to discuss about uh, the basic uh, base foundry casting. Item. So everybody knows the casting is an important factor in every industry so, uh, to reproduce the uh, uh, key manufacturing products and simultaneously the bulk bulk or maximum production has been obtained using the cast because using the dye manufacturing and molding the material to set. So normally as I said, uh, it is like a refractory mode uh, pouring the liquid metal into a uh, core pattern. Then it may can solidify status and then remove. And finally, the entire process has been carried out by grinding operations or some other spots to remove the from the uh, and product and develop to remove the uh, to obtain the finished products. Uh, so, what is the purpose of casting? As yes, there is a four major considerations. One is versatile. Uh, is used for making a complex geometry, internal cavities, hollow sections, um, and also making then uh, several uh, complex uh, styles from products. Uh, and it has a versatile of a small to very large products from 10 grams to 1000 grams. So 10 grams nothing but making up gold ornaments. Um, when you go for a larger parts, it is now used for um, a heavy duty vehicles. Uh, and third one is based on economical. Uh, that is a only little wastage because of uh, the materials can be reused by using a melting uh, certain materials. And isotropic uh, can be the parts of same uh, properties were all uh, used in all directions. So, as I said, casting is the process of pouring a metal into a previously made a cavity to make a desired shape and allow it to solidify them. So, the, there are the basic three uh, patterns. One is uh, making, then molding a metal and pouring into a previously made models. This is how the casting has been taken, the basic operation steps. Uh, when you said, uh, as I said, the first one is pattern. Uh, so, the pattern is nothing but in making a cavity in a mold, uh, mold into with this pour to producing a casting. The more down by using a sand modeling. So as I said, there are several requirements for a good pattern. First one, you have to make a design shape and size of the casting has to be maintained. And the design should be simpler and easy to manage. And also it has been cheap and readily available, light in mass and convenient to handle and it should possess a high strength because it is the materials we have to use in. Then it comes to in metals or materials where we can use for casting is a wood, also, we are commonly used materials like brass, cast iron, aluminium, and white uh, white metals, etc. Sometimes we can using a plastic molding process where we can use this plastic and uh, gypsum also make be used for the pouring a metals. Uh, so this pattern has been meant. This is a different type of allowances is that that is one sinkage allowance. So how many metal has to be poured inside the material? That should be important right now. So excess uh, shrinkage should be given because there is small uh, small of um, metal should be taken care and machining allowance if the product is 10 mm we should have given at least 10.1 so because to make an accurate surface finish or uh, machining the excess materials ending or uh, turn uh, some other operations has to be done to make this uh, surfaces clean there should be allowance given because if 10 mm exact 10 mm we have given what will be uh, happen means the 0.1 mm will not be there because 9.9 9 will become when we have 9.8 something else. So we have to give that machining allowance, then draft allowance. So what is mean draft allowance is how the material has been moving without moving, like simply just may have to be given and shake allowance has to win, take the material outside, there should be the mold allowance because when we shake it, the, there should not be any defect in the mold sides so we have to give shake distortion allowance when you take and uh, shaking the materials when we shake and there should be uh, the, the motor cap has been getting get into a damage so the distortion allowance also to be given for easy of uh, easy to take the material uh, motor material from away uh, when i said that uh, patterns right down um, that is a different type of pattern so the first one is split pattern uh, one is loose pattern third one is drawback patterns, fourth one get it pattern, fifth one match plate, sixth one cope and track, and seventh one sweep finish. The important pattern, um, split pattern, that is a R pattern, the, the single pattern has been divided into two halves. So those two halves are taken into consideration and, and, and the two cavities have been uh, into separate and they have to be joined that to make a yeah, cavity. Then uh, match plate patterns, the same size and same shape has been taken into and can slide over the another surface and joined by using a riveted materials and cope and dragon is similar it is i mean uh, dragged over the 
so, uh, so these are the different type of patterns where we are used in this uh, the casting purpose. In this next video, we are going to show how the ca casting has been made. Right. So these are the different type of patterns and how the casting has been done over the certain period of time. The motor matter has been carried out. These are can be next videos. So after that, if there is any basic pattern types and what are the type of patterns has been, you can easily uh, mention in the query section and up to that. Bye bye. Signing off by Samasam, Assistant Professor, SNS College of Technology. And